six hour flight is no joke. I mean, I've done longer, but it's so exhausting. As soon as we got off the flight, we couldn't check into our Airbnb yet, so we went to Pike's Public Market, which is like a very famous local farmer's market. There's a bunch of vendors, and there's a bunch of like fresh seafood and flying fish. It's like pretty famous, so they just like throw the fish around. I don't know why, but we also checked out the gum wall. It's just like a staple. I think it's a gum alley. I don't know why it started. I don't know when it started, but looks like there's millions of pieces of gum on the wall, and it's pretty much like art. It's kind of gross, but it's kind of, it's very cool. And then, you know, the Space Needle, and just like enjoying the scenery, going to different like cool shops, like hippie shops. Like, um, we went to this record store, we went to a bookstore. Um, it's very like artsy, hippie, you know, young, alternative, gay. Like, I love it. Um, and then we stopped at the famous Glossier store. It's basically just like you can go into your makeup, um, and it's all pink and it's just so pretty in there. And I'd recommend checking it out because it was like really fun. It was just like a makeover day. Um, and just to see all the products and the pink and the outside is so cute guys look at that pink store it was pretty gloomy our old trip we did get to see a sunset but i'm not used to not having the sun when i got home i was very grateful to see the sun again but it was very cool you know it was a change of scenery um i really liked how it was a big city but also like very coastal and like nature-esque vibes and it was very cold which i really liked and we actually went to the University of Washington as well to kind of just see. It was close by and it was very big and it was gorgeous. They had these gorgeous trees and the architecture of the buildings was unlike anything I've seen in Florida. So it was very, very cool to see like a very historic campus. And, you know, it's the University of Washington, so it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of checking out a bunch of different stuff. We went to this kind of like beach, I wouldn't really call it a beach, but you know, just the coastal west coast and it had rocks and like black sand and you know, so many bakeries. We had amazing food. We had this great view of the Airbnb, like we were staying in the heart of downtown and um, you know, it was just gorgeous, gorgeous views. You could see the mountains a little bit, but with that gloomy sky, it wasn't the best view. It was really cool to explore like a different city that I've never been to and we ate really really good food. We had like a variety of a bunch of different cuisines and just like different cultures and different food and we went up the Space Needle which was crazy. It was very very tall. I was a little bit scared because of how tall and like it like rotated which made me like a little bit dizzy but I'd recommend going because the views were crazy. Like, look at those views. It was definitely a little bit busy though, but we went to a couple different museums. There was a museum of pop culture and the glass museum. So these are all like pieces of glass, um, which was very, very cool. Like that is all glass blown. And I'm not like a huge museum girly, so like it was cool, but I'm more of like a nature person. So, but the Space Needle was really cool. So the main reason I was in Seattle was for a work conference. So my job actually paid for pretty much everything. And this was the hotel we stayed at the Hyatt right downtown. It is like a conference that we were going to attend, which was really, really cool. But in between the conference, we had a bunch of time to sightsee. So we went back to this market like five times. Um, so just showing you some of my outfits that I wore. I loved wearing like warm stuff for a change and like dressing up because I could never wear this in Florida, but like super cute. I had just such a fun time picking out outfits. We ate at the famous Din Tai Fung and just like exploring the beautiful city and just like a change in scenery, you know, but this was the sunset that we saw one night. It was absolutely gorgeous and we went to an aquarium as well. Look at those otters just enjoying their time. They're so cute. But the Seattle Aquarium was definitely one of my favorite things because I love like marine life and the, the water and just like animals in the ocean. So it was very, very cool to see a bunch of different like seals, otters, fish. Um, and we got to like touch some starfish, but it was just really, really cool. Um, we got the city pass. So the city pass got us access to a bunch of different landmarks and like um, tourist attractions but like I said we were mainly here for work but we did a lot of like touristy things I also got to see a couple of my friends from 
was a great trip. I love the weather for a change. I love the city for a couple days, but I am definitely not a city girl. I would not want to live in the city every day. It was a lot of walking. We got about 20,000 steps every day. We were there for about five days, so that was a lot. We were definitely in pain and, you know, eating a lot of food, walking a lot, so it, it balanced itself out, but I could never, like, live in a city and have to go outside and walk every day like I like my car. Um, oh, but I wanted to also say, Starbucks was invented in Seattle, so we got coffee, like, every single day, and we went to the very first Starbucks, so we also went on this boat, and it was amazing to go on, like, a little boat tour and see the skyline, because you just got to see Seattle in, like, a different perspective, but yeah, going back to Starbucks, literally it was invented there, so it was cool to see the, see the original Starbucks as well as have amazing coffee every day. We had like the best coffee and finding like cute local shops, as coffee shops as well as like the original Starbucks. But look at this view guys of the city. We got the aquarium, the Ferris wheel, the Space Needle, the amazing skyline. It was just awesome. I think the boat ride again was one of my favorite things. But look at how gloomy it was. I mean like look at my, I was bundled up. I was cold. But like, I like dressing warm because it's like super cute, but I don't know. It was really, really cold. And then, you know, I had to do some work stuff. So I attended a couple different sessions that had to deal with my job. And um, I hung out with like my coworkers. We all flew from Florida together. So we, you know, we got dinners together and we went to a couple sessions and it was a good time. And this is my little badge. So we were just like attending the conference. This hotel room was so cool though. Like I took a bunch of pictures there and Seattle is three hours back of my original body time. So I was definitely waking up early, going to bed late. And now when I got back to Florida, my circadian, circadian rhythm was all messed up. Like I could barely sleep. I slept in so late because like my body time was all messed up. So exhausted is definitely an understatement between the walking, the time change, and just like fitting everything into the days. I'm very, very tired, but it was such a cool experience. I definitely want to go back to Washington and see more nature, like Mount Rainier and stuff. The city, I'm, I'm pretty okay with. Like I said, I'd rather go on like a vacation and relax rather than like go and walk around the city and do tourist stuff. But again, you know, it was, it was a paid for trip by my office. It was a great experience, but we were ready to leave by this point. And we stayed there, you know, almost six days. So 